Greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eilid Selassie I. I. Greetings in the name of the Right Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, our true prophet. When will the bloodletting stop? When will the bloodletting stop? Killing my people day and night. They come like vampires in full flight. And if night should turn to day, enough for them would run away. When will the bloodletting stop? When will the Jamaica judiciary system grow some teeth or have some balls? Because guess what? The system of this country, it is about time we call them out and address them seriously. As you can see today, I'm not in a plain mode. We're talking about a case that I never ever even spoke about because I wanted to find out the facts of the case before I even put my career on the line to speak of it. We're talking about this Stouty Beach case in Portland. And today when I saw in the newspaper, the Gleaner, so we pick up the Gleaner for this one, I saw these words, diabolical contract killer watched as Beachy Stout's wife was tapped to death. He was sentenced to 19 years. Diabolical contract killer watched as Beachy Stout's wife was stabbed to death. He was only sentenced to 19 years. Let's go into the dictionary and find out what is the meaning of the word Diabolical. Let's go. The meaning of the word diabolical is characteristic of the devil or so evil as to be suggestive of the devil. Disgracefully bad or unpleasant. Now, Jamaica, we follow practically everything the United States of America does except for a few things in the united states of america any person that is considered a diabolical killer they're put to death or they're locked away for a long time let's go to the the list have you ever heard of son of sam have you ever heard of charles manson have you ever heard of the hillside strangler have you ever heard in England of Jack the Ripper? Have you ever heard of the Oklahoma Bama? His name is Timothy McVeigh. All these people I'm telling you about are considered diabolical killers. And what they do with diabolical killers, if they don't lock them up and study their brain, they get rid of them. Now let's go to today's Gleaner. And I'm going to read some chilling things to you, but it has to be said. And I guess I am the one to really say it. Let's go. Denver Lynn Minot has been married for more than two decades and is known to resident in the East Portland community of Norwich as a family man who is devoted to his four children. And Thursday, Minot was led from the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston as a convicted contract killer sentenced to 19 years in prison for his involvement in the gruesome slaying of Tonya McDonald, wife of popular businessman Everton Beachy Stout McDonald. Investigators have alleged that McDonald's death was a result of a murder for hire plot orchestrated by her husband who has been arrested along with another man Asher Barnes and charged with murder. On Monday, 
Prosecutors disclosed details of a caution statement recorded by the police in which Minor claimed that Everton McDonnell hired him to kill his wife for three million dollars and reveal how he subcontracted another man to commit the crime. Minot admitted too that he watched as Tony McDonald was stabbed repeatedly before she and her car were set on fire by the man he had hired. Before handing down her sentence, I Court Judge Vivian Harris scolded the family man turned contract killer. You are a married man with a stable family and, according to the community, a good father. I don't know what could have come over you to cause you to act in this diabolical way. No, you're going to be separated from them for a long time, said Aris. You were seduced by a payment of a large sum of money and participated in the hope of getting a big payday, she added. Tonya McDonald's partially burnt body was found with the throat slash beside a raised motor car along the Sherwood Forest main road on July 20th this year. Minot, in his caution statement, which was cited in court by prosecutors, claimed that he had been contracted by Everton McDonald to kill Tonya. He said that the arrangement was that payment of $3 million would be made for the killing of Mrs. McDonald. One prosecutor disclosed, citing the caution statement. Minot, a fisherman who also resides in Portland, claimed too that Beachy Stout gave him clear instruction on how his wife should be killed. Wow. He didn't want Mrs. McDonald to be shot, but said that she was to be stabbed up and her body burned, he told detectives, according to prosecutors. Minot admitted that he gave the work to another man known to him only as the youth. He revealed that on the night of July 20th, Tanya McDonald picked him up in her Toyota Axio motor car and he indicated to her that he was going to pick up another man in Port Antonio. The trio traveled towards Sherwood Forest, he said, when the youth asked Tanya to stop and turn around the car as they approached a three-way intersection. Minot recalls stepping out of the vehicle after Tanya complied with the request, causing her to become fearful. Where you are go? Me afraid. You know see around here dark, he quoted her as saying. According to Minot, the other man also got out of the car before quickly getting back in. He said the youth grabbed her, Tanya, around the address of the driver's seat and they were wrestling. He said he then saw when the youth stabbed her and he saw blood coming from her two sides and her back and her neck, a prosecutor's reveal in court. Minot said the man had a bottle containing an apparent flammable liquid. The car caught fire. And Minot left the scene to call Everton McDonald and told him what had happened. The Sunset Police reported that while the scene was being processed, Everton McDonald arrived and identified his wife's body as well as her motor car. Minot, apparently racked with guilt, broke down in tears as he recounted to the detective his role in Tanya McDonald's death. Miss Mac, trust me too much. She believed in a me. A me makes you go up there, he said through tears in the caution statement. Everton, McDonald and Barnes are scheduled to return to court today. He got only 19 years. Where is the cuts, the balls of our judiciary system? He should be locked away for life. And also, if he wasn't given the death penalty, which he should get, he should be studied because the brains of these people are diabolical, the evil. And there are a lot of diabolical people roaming our streets in Jamaica. The judiciary system get a chance to get a hold of them. But you know what they do? They simply let them back out in the street to terrorize our people. Jamaica, when are we going to wake up and understand that 
Our ancestors, the Nanny of the Maroons, the Paul Bowles, the Sam Sharp, the Marcus Garvey, all our great freedom fighters from around the world, Marcus Garvey led them. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Kwame Nkrumah, Patrice Lumumba, Nelson Mandela, Steve Bantu Biko, and all the others, too much to even mention. Marcus Garvey led the way. And yet still, we spit in the face of this great Jamaican. Amanda came with a plan and a vision to lead the people like Moses across to the promised land. Jamaica, you're already in the promised land. This is the promised land. Everybody on the planet Earth want to come to Jamaica, to this piece of the rock. I'm not making this up. Look at what, how much money the tourist industry make from this little piece of island. They used to rebuke Rastafarian, lock them up, kill them. And yet still they use Bob Marley as a symbol of tourism. And not only that, the same ganja that they used to beat up Peter Tosh and send him to jail, bust up him in, and then eventually kill him. Bob Marley is sporting that in the corner of his mouth. Diabolical is evil. Diabolical should be locked away for life. They should never be given a second chance. Because you know what? The mind, the old concept of life is thwarted. We cannot fix a damaged mangled truck that is considered totally totally destroyed. Wake up Jamaica. Thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen. Please like, share and you can make a comment after you watch this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time. Let this message go out here. It is time for us to wake up. Let this message be heard. It is time for us to wake up and live. That's the